Okay, one last test, and I'm not sure if I'm testing the alloy or the paper, or putting the paper through the ringer. I think I'm putting the paper through the ringer, to be honest with you. We're gonna start painting this stuff with a brush and see how the foundry stuff behaves on the black. So, I'm curious. <laughs> and I think I'm in experimentation mode. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna get my trusty paper plate out. Uh, these are like the the heavier duty paper plates that have the coating on it. Yeah, I spare no expense with my art supplies. Local grocery store, paper plates, they work like a champ. Anyway, and I've got a little cup here with 91% uh, alcohol. So I'm gonna be tapping into both of those. And I'm just gonna be doing some paint lines and see how it behaves. So I'm gonna dip my brush into alcohol just to get it nice and wet. And then just get started. So I wanna see how it behaves with painting and also working other colors over it. So I'm just gonna be doing some layers for now. Let's see, where can I put this to make it easier for dipping in and out? Probably right here. All right. That's much better than me holding it. Okay. So I bet I'm using right now Gilded uh, Foundry and uh, what's this other one? Mind. So it's kind of like a copper and gold. Well, the gold actually looks more like an antique gold. The foundry is interesting. When you let it sit, it almost looks goldish in nature. But when you mess stir it up, you get that silver coming out. So, very pretty. All right. So, I'm going to put some thicker lines of color in there. And I'm not that worried about it running dry on the brush on the strokes. Because I will be going back through with just alcohol. I'm gonna pick up some of this mind color, the coppery looking one. I have to admit, I'm digging the copper, especially with those turquoise. Of course, I guess you saw that with um, me doing a few patina type plan videos. If you get a color combination that kind of sings to you, play with it a little bit. It's kind of a nice reward for yourself too. Um, I am one of those kind of people that get inspired with colors. So if a color is making me happy, I will play with it a little bit more. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen enough of the uh, neon or brights videos to, to know that when I start messing with resin. All right, now all I'm doing here, I haven't even cleaned off my brush, but I'm just dipping it into alcohol and brushing on top. So it's gonna reactivate some of the stuff, move it around. And I've also got little remnants on my brush too. And I'm gonna go on the sides here just to pick up little bits. Very diluted amounts. But what this will also do is it'll blend some of it together, reactivate some of it. It might not reactivate all of it. Oops. But it'll um, bring in some layering kind of an effect. So it looks a lot richer, a lot deeper. So you get some really dark or intense colors, some very subtle colors, and some very barely there. Very barely. Yeah, I said very barely. Erica would be proud. <laughs> All right, that's looking pretty cool. 
All right. So sometimes to bump up a little bit of depth, I'll bring in a color sometimes, and I'm thinking about bringing in some just black, if I can find it. Here we go. So I've got a um, pitch black from Ranger, and I'm gonna make another puddle on my fancy dancy plate here. And do the same thing I did with the uh, metallics. I'm just gonna dip it in, not even worry about cleaning off my brush, and rub it in across here. A little bit more. I don't want them so evened out. I want to break up the pattern somewhat. Let's see. That's kind of closer. All right, so we got that. And now I'm going to get a little sloppy with the alcohol. And what that's going to do is give me some pockets of interest. I'm curious about dotting, whether or not dotting will work. You know how you see some alcohol artists will, and I do this from time to time too, where you play with a brush that has only alcohol in it and create little dots of interest. Well, it's a touch of detail that is really pretty there. See, that's what I mean by sloppy. I just dribbled some on top of that and it'll start to spread a little bit and it'll take some of the ink with it. And sometimes that's a nice touch. All right. I'll clean off my brush a little bit. And I'm gonna see if I can do some Little dots and see if it'll pick up some dots here. And it definitely seems to be doing just that. If you want tinier dots, use a smaller brush or wipe off most of your alcohol off your brush and just use the very, very tip. See if I can go in some areas that definitely don't have any black to it to see. If it is indeed reacting. Because we know it will react to the black. We don't know if it will react to the alloy. So right there is definitely pushing black out on the outside. Doesn't seem to be doing too much with the metallic color. All right. All right, let's bring this in for a closer inspection. So just the brushwork alone, really, really interesting. And it got nice and faded in the looks really really bright here but when you look over top it's not as bright but it's definitely picking up bright on the camera that's interesting i do believe it helps to have the other colors on top of the alloys so that way you can interact like uh, in different techniques that you're used to and it's, it'll basically be the colors interacting i don't think let's see if i can find some that were definitely dots on. Hmm. Okay, 
So this area here didn't have a whole lot of black. So those dots there were created purely by the black. It didn't seem to be interacting with just straight alcohol on top of the alloy. So keep that in mind. But really pretty. Hmm, I wonder what I could do with this. Be great hair. I mean, look at that. That's nice flowing hair right there. All right. So have fun. Experiment if you're wondering how a different type of material or medium will work. And don't be afraid. I mean, just go for it. Um, I got a bunch of these papers. I think they come in like 25 a pack. So it gives me that ability to play and have fun. Um, these little cradle boards here. They also come in like little 4x4s or 6x6s. So it's also a great size to play and have some fun. Um, so if you're wondering about a medium and you're not that feeling that comfortable or you got a new color and it's like, how far can I push this color? This is a great way of applying it. And you never know. I could take, keep on working on this piece and working on this piece and create something out of it. Or even cut it up and, you know, glue and, you know, create something out of that. So don't be afraid to experiment. It's a lot of fun and sometimes you end up with surprises you didn't know about. Like I didn't think about the black being such a important character with this in order to show the little techniques that I like to normally show. So that was just kind of an afterthought of putting that black in. I really wasn't planning on it. All right, have fun. Later. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.